What do you expect from Kamala Harris tonight? Uh, I expect that the vice president will, um, will be who she is, uh, totally and thoroughly prepared. I expect that she will uh, exhibit the type of empathy that I know that she has. I know that she will exhibit the type of knowledge and understanding of the issues that face uh, the people in this country. And I expect that what she will present to us will be the future and, and not something that is the debilitating past. So that's what I expect. Any specific policy issues that you're interested in having her speak about? Housing. Housing inequality. Uh, and, and when we look at the economy, I think that it's telling what um, former President uh, Clinton said, and it was fact-checked. Uh, 51 times that the economy has been really good, and 50 times it's been Democrats. I believe that she'll, she'll speak about that. And so I, I expect that, that, that uh, Vice President Harris will be who she is, and she's going to lay out a very uh, detailed vision, as she's already started to do, and she will, she will show the empathy, she will show how prepared she is, and, and she will show the strength that she has as a, as a woman coming up in uh, this culture. Uh, when, when most people don't expect us uh, to get there, and when we do, then they try to, you know, play it down and act like we're some type of, you know, DEI hire. No, no. She worked hard to get to where she is. I worked hard to, where I, to get to where I am. And it's about time that people recognize that, acknowledge that, and then, you know, quit, quit playing the dozens. So what can she do differently in terms of governance than President Biden? You know, I think she's going to put her own spin on it. Uh, and as I said before, the thing that I always like to remind people of is 2020, 2019, 2018, there wasn't a whole lot of good that came out. And 2020 especially. And, and so for people who want to downplay what President Biden has done, I say go back to 2020. They, they brought us out of that. And it's, it's been less than four years. They brought us out of the doldrums. You know, supply chain was a wreck, you know, all across the world. We were not respected. And so I think that she'll put her own spin on it, and there are probably some things, some, some nuances that she will do, do differently. But I think that President Biden has put us on a real good glide, glide path. I'd hate to go back to what it was before. I certainly wouldn't want to do that. And as a veteran, one of the things that I appreciate, appreciate about her is that she respects veterans. We're not suckers and we're not losers. And she, she respects us. And, and, and those who, who, have, who have not just given the ultimate sacrifice, but those who have been wounded in action. She's not afraid to look at them.